between the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Successor Agency for February 11, 2014, commencing at 3.30. May we have a roll call for the City Council. Council Members Friedman. Here. Darian. Here. Harrow. Here. Zanian. Here. Mayor Weaver. Here. And for the successor agency. Agency members Friedman. Here. Najarian. Here. Quintero. Here. Zanian. Yes. Here. Mayor Weaver. Here. The agenda for the February 11, 2014 joint public meeting of the City Council and successor agency was posted on Thursday, February 6, 2014 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Before you, the items are Director of Economic Development regarding recognized obligation payment scheduled for July to December 2014 ROPS 14-15A and reestablishment of repayment of city agency loan in compliance with HSC 34191.4 1A's agency resolution adopting ROPS 14-15A including administrative budget for same period B's agency resolution to commence repayment of the reestablished city loan agreement in compliance with HSC 34191.4 B2A Sees Council resolution approving loan repayment terms and conditions of the reestablished city loan agreement with the former redevelopment agency in compliance with HS3 34191.4B2A and authorizing approval of said loan agreement. Thank you. Mr. Choa. Yes, sir. This is the biannual chore that we have come uh, to terms with in terms of getting the ROPS approved uh, by the successor agency, by the oversight board, and ultimately by the director or the Department of Finance for the state of California. And we actually have developed a, a good relationship, working relationship with DOF. Uh, this ROPS is especially notable because of the final item that was read into the record, uh, the reinstatement of the loan between the city of Glendale and the former redevelopment agency. You recall before the dissolution of redevelopment, the city had begun collecting on the repayment of that loan to the tune of $7 million a year. Uh, at the outset of the redevelopment program uh, decades ago, uh, the city had advanced the redevelopment agency money that uh, over time uh, was uh, to be repaid. It was beginning to be repaid. Uh, it was a bona fide loan with interest, with terms, uh, but with the dissolution of redevelopment, it was struck down by the state. The state held out that if, uh, if the former agencies would do uh, the bidding of the state by way of winding up the, the former redevelopment agencies, that the carrot uh, to the stick would be the reinstatement of these types of loans. So now that we have, uh, through the good graces of the successor agency, the oversight board, the DOF, have achieved the certificate or the certificate of compliance, uh, all of the terms that go along with the winding down of redevelopment, the uh, carrot can be realized in terms of reinstating or reestablishing the loan. Um, the loan is, uh, it takes the form of paying back based on the residual of property, leftover property tax uh, that uh, does not go to the other taxing entities and thus can come back to us. So it should, and we expect it to grow over time. This first coming year, if the council approves this and DOF upholds it, would be about $1.5 million back to the city of Glendale. Um, as time goes on, it would escalate to a maximum of about $5.5 .5 million. Again, uh, we had been paying ourselves back to the tune of $7 million, so uh, even though this is about a million and a half dollars less at the, at the maximum payment uh, back to the city, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Um, it also is worth noting that at this point we are hopeful for legislation that would lock in uh, the terms of this repayment so that the state doesn't get a wild hair at some point and decide that it will strike down or defer or postpone or otherwise eliminate this repayment. We have done everything in good faith that they've asked us to do and we hope that we can then count on this on this money. Um, if you have any specific questions about this terms ROPS or about the loan repayment specifically either Ms. Bobolian or Principal Administrative Officer can answer those or certainly Ms. Van Meiden our uh, counsel to the uh, to the successor agency and uh, oversight board can help. Are there any questions? I'll move. Okay. Uh, there, there's council and agency. Um, a, C, D, and F are council motion. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong one. No, no. A, A is and B is agency. One A and B. I'll move the item for the agency. Second. Roll call. Agency members, Friedman? Yes. Jarian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Sinanian? Yes. Chair Weaver? Aye. 
And there's a motion for council one C. I'll move the item for the council. Second. Roll call, please. Council members Friedman? Yes. Darian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Nanian? Yes. Mayor Weaver? Aye. Next, please. Next item, Director of Economic Development and Public Works regarding Central Park Paseo Parking Lot 10 Colorado Street Lane Addition Improvements Project in connection with specification number 3483. Two ways council motion awarding a construction contract to Prime Corporation in the amount of $2,679,677, proving contingency of $391,500 and rejecting all other bids. Use agency motion awarding a construction contract to Pima Corporation in the amount of $2,609,677, approving contingency of $391,500 and rejecting all other bids. Seize Council resolution approving the property transfer and exchange agreement with the Pietro Limited Partnership. Seize Council resolution dedicating certain city properties for public alley purposes and accepting same into the city street system. Ease agency motion approving a contract change order with AECOM in amount of $76,270. Council and F is a council resolution approving appropriating $350,000 in measure R subregional funds for the Colorado Street widening. Thank you, Mr. Ochoa. Yes, sir. The uh, agency, uh, successor agency has seen uh, the designs, has seen uh, the schematics, and so at this point for this project, uh, this is the award of contract. It's worth noting, uh, you know, th this is important to the south end of downtown. It connects uh, Brand Boulevard to the library, Central Park, and vis-a-vis -vis the Paseo, and also gives us an additional right-hand turn lane on the, on eastbound, uh, or I'm sorry, westbound Colorado onto northbound Brand. Um, so this project would, would accomplish all of that. It's worth noting that because of the ROPS process <coughs> where we have to get, uh, we have to secure approval from the Department of Finance for uh, recognized <coughs> obligations uh, that uh, we uh, had come forward with a rather conservative cost estimate for this project. Uh, when we bid the project out, it came in well under uh, what the engineer's estimate was. And so we may have an opportunity, it looks like we'll have an opportunity to go back and pick up some of the projects as part of the, uh, the library and uh, um, Paseo project and parking lot project that have previously had been left out, most notably uh, relocating that chiller from where it currently sits along Paseo. Um, that was a large ticket item that we thought we wouldn't have the opportunity to, to tackle, but because of uh, the pricing that you see here on this bid, it looks like we will actually be able to go fight that fight. So if you have any specific questions about this, certainly our Deputy Director and City Engineer of, or Deputy Director of Public Works City Engineer, Mr. Golanian, can answer those, and Mr. Barry, the Principal Development Officer, is here as well. And it's starting when? Is yes, the Board of Contract? Is somebody out there working in the alley today? Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, members of the uh, successor agency, the people you see working out there are the utility companies who are relocating their uh, facilities before we start construction in April of 2014. And when should it be completed? By November of 2014. Okay, so that will be that, that right turn lane yeah, the dedicated, yes. of Colorado. Correct. That will be done before the holidays then. Yes, sir. There will be another mob scene down there. Okay. We haven't. We yes. haven't seen uh, the actual uh, layout for a while. Is that available? Can you get that? Uh, to yes. I mean, the Council design. Council Member Quintero absolutely will share that with yeah, It's been a while. Because moving the chiller is certainly a super big uh, deal. Uh, just wondering if that's affected any of the plans or how. Um, actually, Council Member Quintero, the chiller that Mr. Ochoa mentioned will be part of the Central Library Renovation Project. But it will be out of the way. Right, that's what I mean. So that space, uh, well, anyway, I, I'd like to see the plans okay. whenever. Uh, Mr. Kandari, you mean that? No, the actual uh, alley itself. From, 90, uh, 90 parking spaces. Colorado right. to. Uh, and understanding to that if, if we did not do that work on the chiller as part of the overall renovation of Central, then you basically were never going to do it oh, because it would right. be too expensive to do Absolutely. it after the fact. Well, I mean, it's a total, it's also the vision, being able from Brand to see into the Central Park and library and vice versa. I mean, visually, it makes a super big uh, uh, difference. This is very exciting. I mean, it's, I hate to say it's about time, but uh, I'm glad we found the money. 
and uh, it's going to really help with the uh, museum and and with our central park planning so it's very exciting very happy it's going to move quickly okay well, just a question about uh, the bids uh, this report states that pop construction although they came came in as the lowest bid there Bid was non-responsive to the bidding requirements of pub public contract code. Can we be a little more specific what happened there? Yes, Council Member Sinanian, members of the City Council and successor agency. Uh, pub Construction had done some miscalculation in their bids, and they were missing signatures and notarization that oh. deemed it non-responsive. Okay. Uh, even a missing signature, a item kills it. Yes. Uh, thank you. I had a question. Is this the one? The discrepancy between the low and the high bidders was quite a bit. Am I thinking about another one? It's about 135,000. No, wasn't that the lowest and the highest is a million four hundred thousand? Yeah, is that what you meant? Yeah, between the low and the high, so broad. I guess the ones that were high weren't really needing the work. That's what how my guess was, or they would have been more competitive. Do you, and do we know the engineer's estimate? I'm uh, sure you do. About the middle? It was about the middle, yes. Okay, thank you. Is there a motion on 2A, C, D, and F for the eight? So moved. Wait up, wait up. A, C, and D for the council. So moved. And, and F, that's what he moved. F. A, C, D, Roll and call. F. Second. A roll call on those. Council members Friedman? Yes. Majarian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Donian? Yes. Mayor Weaver? All right. And I'm um, 2 B and E. So moved. Roll call. Second. That was moved by uh, agency member Quintero and seconded by Najarian. Agency member Friedman? Yes. Majarian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Donian? Yes. Chair Weaver? Aye. Is there a motion to adjourn for the council? So moved. And for the agent? Oh, wait, second on that? Second. Okay. And for but the. Then, well, before we adjourn that, I do need a motion. Minutes. Um, and that we can do that. Uh, approval for a special. Item three is approval for a, success, a special successor agency meeting minutes of Tuesday, oh, January 21, uh, 2014. We need a motion and a second on that by the agency. So I didn't see that down there. So moved. Second. A roll call. Agency members Friedman? Yes. Najarian? Yes. Montero? Yes. Anya? Yes. Chair Weaver? Aye. Now we can entertain motions for adjournment. <laughs> so moved. Thank you. Second mm -hmm. for that? Second. And for the agency? So moved. Second. Thank you. Well, should you do roll call? 